He was arrested at his Moranga office and brought to the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission's Integrity Center in this police Land Rover. He would be interrogated for several hours for what the EACC later revealed were allegations of giving false information and knowingly misleading the commission contrary to provisions of the Ethics and Integrity chapter in the Constitution. Hakuna mambo nyingine ya Murungula kuhusu my account wakasema hiyo hakuna. Hakuna pesa imepotea account hii, hakuna pesa imepotea account ya Muranga. Na ni nini? Ah ah hiyo form kuna mahali ulijaza tunataka kuchunguza ulijaza hivyo kwa nini? Ha nikasema bazi jameni tutoke. Kama ni hiyo, tu nini? Wairia dismissed his arrest as a scheme by some people who are using the fight against corruption to settle political scores. That matter, if you feel the form was not well done, then prosecute the matter if, if it's such a material matter. And the matter was prosecuted by somebody else. And, 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 and he lost. So, I mean, I, it's, it's a pity. It's a pity. And I believe might be there are people who want to derail this war. So they bring a lot of pettiness. So that uh, it is said the war, the war is so petty. So that we can lose focus of the real crackdown on corruption. While Wairia was not on the EACC's list of alleged corrupt government officers, the commission claims that he has ignored previous summons to answer to the allegations of giving false information in the leadership integrity form during his nomination to vie for the seat. He was released on bond and is expected back at the integrity center for further interrogation on the 10th of April. And minutes after Wairia left integrity center, Nairobi County Secretary Lillian Degwa was brought in. <laughs> Lillian features on the graft report tabled in Parliament Monday for alleged abuse of office. No, no, no. Esther Kahumbi, Citizen Business Centre.